Stop your grind, stay focused, get your money. You know what I'm saying? Let's set the record straight. Snoo the wild is the freshman of the year, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck they talking about. I don't know no artists, you know what I'm saying? They know that they give away two top ten records. You make the type of money my nigga made. If it's not to be on the come on, fuck with that. Man. So it just, it just made sense. 
Uh, now, what was doing four years in prison like? Uh, <laughs> you had to grow up fast. You got to uh, be a quick thinker. You got to know how to be conservative. You know how to know how to read people a little faster than normal. You know, uh, wising up, accepting things that you probably wouldn't accept. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to know how to when to humble yourself and when to attack. You know how that go? Now, how old were you when you got locked up? That just turned 21. 21. So when you became a legal adult, you went into the prison Yeah, they system. bound that right. They bound me over to the system. You know, what, what do you think, you know, when you look at those four years, what do you think was the hardest part of those four years? Uh, man, not being able to take control of your life. Not being able to uh, make sure your kids eating right. Make sure they living right. Make sure they safe. You know, it's a mental thing. It's a mind thing, you know. That was the hardest part, just really keeping your mind strong and keeping your mind stable and what you need to focus on and what you can't control. Uh, 7,000 England at Alice. Uh, we have an SUV in the ditch behind me, and we have one adult male that's been shot in the neck, and he's at the hospital right now. He's in critical condition, so prayers for him. Uh, we believe the call, the shooting probably happened just right at 2 a.m. Uh, my name is Lieutenant R. Wilkins, W-I-L-L-K-E-N-S. So what we do have right now, we got some excellent video from a uh, an individual that lives over here. Um, he, he saw the his video was, I guess, for somehow alerted him. He looked over a fence over here where he lives at and observed our suspect vehicle and three other individuals, two black males and one black female. And like I said, this is all great video. They were around this vehicle that was in the ditch. Uh, we heard one shot go off and then the car left. Uh, the car did come back a little bit later and then left again. We actually have a vehicle that matches that description around the corner here our officers are sitting on. Um, we're waiting for our investigators to get here and try to talk to some folks and figure out exactly what occurred. Like I said, we don't know exactly what the shooting was, or what, 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 it was what occurred or why it occurred. Um, really, that's all we have right now. Our investigators are in route and hopefully we'll uh, we'll catch whoever did this. Any questions? The victim found in the driver's seat? No, the, the victim was actually found in the ditch. And so the, the way we originally got the call was the, the shot spotter, which is it locates gunshots. And so we first got that call, and officers were in route to this location. And then uh, citizens called in about the, the individual being shot. So, and when officers got here, they found it. They provided first aid, and uh, HFD got here and transported him ASAP. They're saying he's critical, so it's it's 50-50 right now. Is what is that, that's exactly what the doctor said. It's 50-50 right now. So we don't know how the SUV wound up in the ditch. It, it appears, from what we can tell from the video, it, it appears that the individual that was shot backed it. We believe it's the individual that was shot. Again, the video's kind of fuzzy, but it looks like he just backed it. Shot. Again, the video's kind of fuzzy. Shot. Again, the video's kind of fuzzy. <laughs> Somebody in my bag, yo, man, we're doing that thing. What hurt it? Like, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Big bro, you know, he, he's grown, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. I, I appreciate the opportunity, man, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. even give me out there gravel, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I ain't, I ain't how to support the black youngster in my bag, yo. So, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 could, they could be. They can play a part in it. When I came in, I came in on my own route with it. You know what I'm saying? With a group of street niggas, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know, and they came back to hunt me, you know what I'm saying, on their part. But, you know, you learn from your mistakes, man. You know what I'm saying? You learn from your mistakes, most definitely. Yep. Now, do I think any of those things would have stopped my ass? Nah. Yeah. Nah. It wouldn't stop my head, you know what I'm saying? Like, they would have kept me pushing. They would have kept going where it needed to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Before right. anybody would have been comfortable using my ideas or, you know what I'm saying, even quoting the things that I say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already a legend or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I ain't right. gone nowhere yet. I just got here. How do you mean you got it? Oh, um, man, just really grinding, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I came back home, and, uh, you know, we got a couple of clubs around there in the area, right? So, 
he always touch down. It's, I didn't know that. I just found it out as I heard him. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So y'all, he'll, he'll touch down and just check out some of the clubs when he come back home. Mm-hmm. They playing me, you know what I'm saying? The, the crowd going crazy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the DJ, I think one of the DJ told him, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, this kid stay right up the street from me, from North Memphis. So he, you know, from Memphis, period. Mm-hmm. So for me, just moving the crowd and coming from the city, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get your own city. Mm-hmm. He was like, damn, I got to meet this kid. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, Lil' Larry hit me up, you know, the DJ that's kind of like, mm-hmm. he the voice of Memphis, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it started from there. He linked it up, we met up, you know what I'm saying? We had the same conversation, the same kind of like game plan drive mm-hmm. trying to do right, you know what I'm saying? So it was like self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? We on the money train now. We trying to get it. Of a popular Memphis rapper shot and killed on Houston's South Side almost 10 months ago. HPD has arrested this man, 22-year-old Ivory Duke Williams, who they say is responsible for the rapper's death. KBRC 2's Bill Baraha spoke with the sisters of LaPreston Porter III, also known as Snooty Wild. He's live downtown with those details. Bill. Well, the family of La Preston Porter says they wish it hadn't taken so long to make an arrest in this case, but they do believe HPD's got the right guy. Their focus now is making sure he stays right here behind bars at the Harris County Jail. La Preston Porter III, also known to fans as Snooty Wild, was well established in the Memphis rap game. What his sisters, Unique Hearns, and Daphne Isom say some might not know is that he was a family man, a son, father, and brother. He was a light, you know. He was uh, very loving, very supportive. Um, I feel like there was nothing that I could, couldn't call on him for. Porter was shot in South Houston on February 25th. He was rushed to the hospital, but later died. Investigators say a woman on scene claimed several people, including Porter, had stopped to help her after her vehicle got stuck in a ditch. She alleges that at some point Porter walked up and pointed a gun at her. She told police she ran off, but heard gunshots a short time later. Porter's family members say they don't buy that story. It's absolutely not the case. My brother was actually called. He was called to, to come and assist the young lady. Um, with her um, with her situation and uh, was uh, unaware that uh, family members of hers had been contacted or called to to um, actually be at the location when he arrived. Ivory Williams? Police have since arrested Ivory Williams. He has been charged with murder. In terms of like why uh, Ivory would want to kill him, Hopefully that's something that he's willing to, you know, share uh, during the procedure. But like most importantly, what we want, like the arrest is the first step, but the most important step is the justice. that it took so long to get to this point. Now, Houston police say Ivory Duke Williams was arrested by SWAT Wednesday and charged with Porter's murder. The family says they've known Williams was responsible for months thanks to the help of private detectives in their own investigations. The family says they've traveled to Houston more than a dozen times since the murder, found surveillance footage of the crime, and got repeated tips that Williams had been bragging around town about the shooting, but he wasn't taken in until months later. The detective told me that that was not the person, that was the driver. And I told him to follow the evidence, because the evidence says different. And me being a retired police officer from Houston, Texas, I know what you have to do and what you don't have to do. Now, Houston police say Snooty Wild was shot and killed back in February of this year. His body was found in a, he was, he was found lying in a ditch and he was pronounced dead the next day.